and I've been avoiding Cavern Kings, mainly because I recorded several very, very lengthy sessions of Cavern Kings, and I was wondering if uh, people were A, getting tired of it on the stream, and B, uh, I had such a backlog of Cavern Kings to the point where I was having trouble editing it all down in a timely fashion. Mainly because I'm a lazy person. Anyway, what do we want to play as? Oh. Wait, hold on a second. Alright, so, I know exactly who we're going to be playing as. We're going to be playing as Android, which depresses me. To a small degree, if only because I like playing... Oh boy, this is going to be rough. I like playing uh, Nuclear Throne. Oh, shoot. I forgot, the game is silent. Let's see if we can fix this. Weird. Really weird. Okay, quick test, can you guys hear me? A am I audible over the music or should I turn down the music a little bit more? I'll turn it down a little bit more. This should be good enough. Uh, let's see. If, if I check the viewers list, we've also got Wolfie Frosty and Kaleido Bear. Okay. So if you can hear me, that's all good. Let's go back into Cavern Kings. And we might as well just start the episode here, considering everything was totally silent. Anyway, uh, if you don't remember from the last time I streamed... Oh, boy, this is going to be all kinds of ass. I think we're just going to lose here. The Power Fist plus... The Power Fist plus uh, TNT Sling. Super scary. But you know what? I'm going to give it to the old, old college try. Yeah, I just do not like the power fist that much. Oh, well, especially because it can kill me. Ah, well. Let's see if I can get this box down. Yeah, and like the problem is, I don't mind that. Mop, I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. Get sort of goodbye. Anyway. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, I truly do not like the. Nope. I do not like the uh, TNT. Ow, I am losing health left and right. Well, go figure. I have like the worst combo in this game. This is why I want weapon selection to be a thing because there's just there's no good way of me to be able, be able to get the stuff I want. Oh well. But yeah, if uh, if you didn't see the previous episode, uh, the reason why, or like the previous time I played, the reason why I have the game audio turned off is after a certain point, certain audio effects in the game get unbearably loud and obnoxious. And, uh, well, I would much prefer to just listen to ocremix.org instead. Which, you know, sounds way nicer. But yeah, this is like the shittiest combo. Might be able to- yeah, drop the box. I do like the Power Fist for a lot of reasons, but, uh, not that much. It's really quite awful, comparatively. It does present some interesting combinations here, but I'm more liable to murder myself, especially once we get onto higher difficulties. So I'm just going to continually charge for the bottom, we'll see how we do. Because on some ba baseline level we'll probably be okay for at least a little while. And I'm curious what, uh, how we're going to do. Plus, you know, I also just want to see how well I can do with the shittiest combo in the game. Holy crap, okay, there is actually, what the, come on. Um, huh. So, interestingly enough, the Hero of Time sword that you can get is huge with the fist. That is really cool, actually. That is really cool. I, however, get the feeling I'm going to run into some serious issues. 
Up. I did not punch him to death and ended up just knocking my face into his side, which is not welcome and we're gonna have some issues. I guess I can hit him with a TNT in the face. Oh, okay, okay, well, that is, hmm, that is interesting. So the static thing is cool. I like that. I'm not entirely sure what procs it, but... Oh, is it? Oh, hello. What procs it? Does it... Is it on a floor? No. Is it health-based? If it is... Yeah, it's health-based. Oh, that... Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Eh. That is fascinating. So... That's the android's ability. Which means this is actually going to be the last normal run of the night with Android. We're gonna go do. Uh, we're gonna go do the arena. I think. Uh, I think the Android actually has the highest highest potential of beating it out of all of them. Anyway, let's, let's get these boxes out of the way. Blech. Blow you up. Problem is, I'm I'm not using the fist for like 90% of combat here, which is. Probably not a good idea, but I'm doing it anyway. I don't know. At least we're getting a little bit of health here. Because, like, jeez, that static electricity is ridiculous. It's it, amazingly powerful. Wow. All right. Well, this is... This changes things. Probably going to still get us killed somewhere along the way, but still. Like, this is... As long as I keep my health lower than half... We're pretty much in the golden zone as far as like killing things go. Like I don't even I don't even have to hit enemies. I can just kind of be there, which is great. I should probably leave actually. This is like super dangerous. Anyway, oh that is. Mm. Yeah. I what the? Okay, I apparently blew myself up on the TNT. Note to self: Do not stand at the epicenter of that. Oh, people want to play the dinosaur. All right. Well. All right. Uh, so in that case. I want to do the arena first. We're going to do the arena, and then we're going to do... Because uh, I want to continue with Android. Nah, that's not good. That's not good. Um, I, I, I want to give this a good shot. Hell yeah, this is, this is pretty much perfect. Uh, I think the only thing better would maybe be the jackhammer, but that's okay. Now, there is actually a couple of health regen items in this game now. There's one based on kills, one based on crits... Uh, one that's just health regen, which is pretty nice. It's a little bit rare, but we'll see how we do. We want to. What we actually want to do here is take some damage. It, but seriously, this is another Mishka situation, which I am a little bit apologetic about. But at the same time, I'm not totally apologetic just because it's actually going to make this doable. Which oh oh, there we go. Okay, the Heart of Belial, the health regen item. I just have to make sure I don't die here, because I have lost a fair amount of health. This is part of the concern with a character that involves uh, being lower than X health to use an effect. At the very least, I can actually stay groundbound. This is one of the few characters. This is what... Ah, oh man, I really wish I had the Drill Cannon right now. Because if I had the Drill Cannon, we'd be gorgeous. All right. Uh, but, you know what? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Worst comes worse, I'll get some extra jumps in here. That would that would be equally useful. But as long as I'm groundbound, we're actually not in uh, serious danger. Let's see if I can kill the eyeballs, though. Eyeballs are scary. But uh, the the problem we're going to run into is after a certain point, my health regen is actually going to get to the point where I'm back up to full health and no longer have lightning. At which point, we're going to have a very short period of time where we can take loads of damage. And this is this is part of the reason why like the whole Mishka situation is scary too. Oh, thank you. Uh, magnetism is going to be really, really useful. Problem with this situation is I do have to stay largely ground-bound, which is dangerous. But not overwhelmingly, so I just have to be careful. And the health regen. The health regen makes an amazing amount of a difference. Okay. Yeah, I could absolutely see this being doable with a better long-range weapon, because the nail gun just ain't cutting it. But... That's a nice big health pickup. Oh, interesting. Static electricity might actually be... Okay, that is scary. 
based on how much damage you've taken, so it gets more powerful if you have very little health. But the reason the reason why this is really useful in this situation, oh, I really need more jumps, uh, really useful in this situation is uh, all those, yep, here we go, here, here's where we start taking crazy damage. All right, I'm going to try that one more time. <sighs> And this time I'm going to try and do it with a long-range weapon. Ideally, drill cannon. Harpoon gun, close second. Yeah, no way, not even possible. Um, drill, drill cannon would would totally be doable, because it doesn't have any knockback, so I can stay completely ground-based. It's close, but the thing is, those, those this game doesn't have a whole lot of good long-range weapons, which makes me kind of sad. Like, it, it really needs just a couple of generic long-range stuff, and I really hate re- just re-picking, but, like, TNT Sling is not gonna cut it here. Oh, interesting. Because we could- uh, Harpoon Gun and Power Fist, it's not gonna be good enough. Like, I- I'm not going to settle for anything less than the best. Uh, this will have to do. Alright. Drill Cannon. Uh, ideally I'd like Drill Cannon Jackhammer, but this will have to do. Thing is, Drill Cannon does run into certain issues with its damage. Its damage really early on kind of sucks, but once you get a couple of upgrades or a couple of levels, you're all good. Also, once we've got the lightning going, we've we've at least got several things going for us. Okay. Come on. Okay, lightning has started. It has begun. I just am in kind of still danger zone, because I can't kill most things. Also, apparently Drill Cannon has more of a kickback than I thought it did. It's more noticeable in the air, interestingly enough. But nice thing about the Drill Cannon, once you hit an enemy, it, that enemy is pretty much guaranteed to die, so I don't have to worry about hitting certain targets multiple times. Alright. Now it's just a matter of, uh, well, keeping myself both alive and slightly injured at all times. And keeping... <laughs> I'm essentially just a roving anti-air battery. That That's my main goal here. Come on, you... Nope, missed. Eh. I'm trying. It's very hard to hit these guys sometimes, and it's very hard to focus on a target, too. Well, I got knocked all over the place. At the very least, our lightning is going crazy, which is welcome, and there's some health. Beautiful. All right. And then after th after this round, we're going to go play as the dinosaur or something, just because he's pretty entertaining. All right. Also cute. I like, I like how the dinosaur looks. Oh. There we go. There's there's what we're looking for. Now, I'm really hoping I can get another Heart of Belial along the way here. Because Heart of Belial... Oh, poison damage on top of everything. Yes. Heart of Belial, Belial will make this just largely more sustainable. We're pretty... God damn it. Yeah, because I can't, I can't magnetize it to myself. What a joke. Oh, well. I mean, we're not... We, we've already got got the kind of requisite stuff. Okay. And also, the Power Fist actually works out well for me here. I've, of course, taken a fair amount of damage, so the, the sword is going to be kind of super unreliable, but that's okay. And, okay, Power Fist, actually pretty good. Yeah, no, we're golden. This is great. I'd love to look at the Twitch chat. Unfortunately, I'm not... I'm not confident I'm going to be able to the entirety of this run. Looking away was super scary. Alright, you need to... Okay. Yeah, they're, they're sympathizing with me. That's a good sign. Oh, hello. But, you know what? The drop rates get way better as we go along. And the nice thing is, uh, the usual problem with the Power Fist doesn't really... Hello. Doesn't really exist with... Oh, Android. We're kind of in the danger zone here. Luckily... Luckily, I should be able to get a health pretty soon. And we don't have to worry about getting swamped here, unlike normal runs. But yeah, there we go. There's the health we need. Because the worms that normally spawn on the ground can't bother you. I was trying to explain this earlier, but I uh, was kind of failing at it. But yeah, now that we've got the, we've got toxic drill bits and stuff, oh, things are great. All right, let's see if I can murder a couple of these eyeballs and power fist. Yeah. Also, more, more defensive items to cover my ass while I'm focusing on the air. It's perfect. We might actually get this. We're three minutes and 30 seconds in. We've got three jumps now. No intrinsic healing. That is going to cause problems. But, uh, 
Now the one problem is we do actually have the like higher level of stone creatures around us, which is not good because they actually do a lot of damage and they're not as susceptible to my bullshittery. Also, the mole's orchid truly does not belong in the arena. It should not be here. I put a post on the uh, on the Steam dis discussion page and it went largely unanswered, which kind of pisses me off to a small degree because you'd think the item that heals you based on destroying terrain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? Oh, apparently I've taken a little bit of damage here. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we don't have Tesla, which makes this really concerning for just a very short period of time, because, like, I... Taking damage here is going to cause me issues. But, like, I have to take a very balanced amount of damage. Oh, okay, we've got, we got the Tesla going. Okay, this is good. And then shit's exploding around me, too. Screw you, eyeballs. Yeah, this is the other reason why we want... Okay, this is this has become concerning. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got it. Um. This is this is the reason why we want to stay slightly injured, because otherwise we get swamped with enemies and we can't deal with it. But we've turned out okay. We've got a little bit of health regen. Faster meal. Oh, thank you. Faster health regeneration. Perfect. I just got to stay lively for a little bit longer, and we'll be all good. I just uh, in. A very dangerous place. Alright. Focus, Wander. Focus. You can dodge the bullets. If you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a ball. If you can you can dodge an enemy, you can... That's a battery. I don't actually know what the battery is. Slight health pickup. Perfect. Things are scary as shit around here, and I have to watch out for those guys exploding on me. Actually. Okay. Oh, that's what the battery does. Alright, I need a... I need a health pickup stat. Shit, what? Oh, God. I... I... Not dead yet. Somehow. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Health. Health. Health pickup. Health pickup. I deserve one. I think I got one. I, I honestly, I'm not even looking at my health. I'm just... I'm... Ho, oh, I'm dead. Oh, five minutes and 55 seconds in. Jesus Christ. This challenge is ridiculous. All right. So couple of things. First and foremost, um, Drill Cannon, really powerful. I do think that I need something other than the Kinetic Fist. Shovel, or more bene uh, beneficially, the Jackhammer, would be perfect. If I could get the Drill Cannon and the Jackhammer, I think we would absolutely have a fighting chance at that one. But, I think I'm done with the arena, because that it, it truly hurts me, because I, like, I tense up, and I'm like, come on, you gotta do it! And that was a brilliant run, like, we were... We were uh, three-fifths of the way there, which is perfect, but uh, not perfect enough. Anyway, let's go play as Rex. Of course, when I say, let's go play as Rex, I mean, I don't want to use the Power Fist. The Power Fist pisses me off right now. It was cool the first run, but after that, not so much so. I like the shovel, I like the jackhammer. Are there any other melee weapons? I guess there's the sword. That's about it. I really hope they add more weapons to this game, because if they don't, I think this game is going to end up feeling really stale after a while, which is going to be kind of unfortunate, because I like it. I like the concept of it, and I like the items. But if they don't have more items than this, more uh, weapons than this, I think it's going to get kind of boring. Because they went the nuclear throne concept where it's just like, well, here's like the core set of items, and then here's like the golden versions too. Have fun. And I'm like, okay, I guess. I can see that being good, but at the same time, I would much I would much rather have like a wide variety of interesting things. Then again, maybe I, I just should blame uh, Tower of Guns here. Tower of Guns had what nine base guns plus what 10, 12 secret guns ish, and then the weapon mods and stuff. I don't know. It just felt nice. Oh god, I, I didn't want to be near the big old explodey TNT things when those guys came by, but it didn't give me much of a choice. Anybody gonna spawn while I'm here? I'd very yeah. Give me some health. Yeah, I prefer to have the jackhammer over this, but at the very least we have uh, the nail gun. This is the nail gun. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that box. I'm not even gonna try. Nail gun attacks pretty quickly. Means lots of health for Rex. You really don't want to get a gun like um, the harpoon gun with Rex. Harpoon gun with Rex is uh, less than stellar. The drill cannon is amazing with Rex in pretty much every regard. 
just because it's like, well, it's hitting an enemy so fast, and he's getting so much health. That's going to be a problem. Shouldn't be too big of one. All right, and here we go. Let's get over here and see. Oh, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, that's a bomb. Okay. <laughs> I know it's stating the obvious, but it, that, that obvious is terrifying. And we get increased melee attack speed, which is perfect. Shovel's actually really, really viable as far as dealing damage goes. All right. Now what I can do... Yeah, well, I, I managed to stay within it. Not actually sure why I'm going out of my way to take out these these saw blade things. I guess it really just kind of lets me hang out until it's time to leave. And some extra levels on Rex is probably a good idea. Come on, die to, die by my hand, and now I can leave. Yeah! Easy exit point. Fortunately, I'm going to have to be really careful for getting that box. All right, got it. We're in the ice area, too. I do not like the ice area that much. I think Alium is... I think it's Alium. Alium that's uh, immune to weather effects, which includes... I wonder if that includes water. It definitely includes the ice area, but is there anything else that even gets affected by it? I have no idea. That said, doesn't bother me that much one way or another. That eyeball is not in a very reachable location, though. Let's just dig our way up here. Oh, what? Did I not have a... Weird, didn't have an extra jump there. Confusing. But, ultimately, not terribly problematic. I should probably leave. Oh, hey, there are two more eyeball guys. Who, in retrospect, remind me of Mega Man char- Oh, come on. In retrospect, remind me of Mega Man characters. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get to any of those boxes. Well, that- oh, jeez, this level's loaded with boxes for whatever reason. All right. And we get Scattershot. All right, that is- that is good shit. Because- Oh, man. Never mind. I was, I was about to say, it would be, like, really awesome. Uh, because that means we get twice as much health. Oh, well, there go those boxes, and there go my chances of getting the other ones up there. Oh, well, at the very least, we get some toxic stuff. And death and destruction. Yeah, this is working out. This is this run has a lot of potential. If I can get my health up, I'd be good. Okay. Yeah, no, I absolutely can't get them, especially at this point. Let's leave. It's one of those where it's like, oh, hello. That's interesting. I probably could have maybe gotten to them. The thing is, the effort that would be required to get to them isn't worth the trouble. Because it would have required me pretty much spending the entire time on that specific floor level, whatever you want to call it. Just to, just to get to them. And, well, I can see that being viable on some senses. I think killing a bunch of enemies, and I got, you know, Belial's Heart and Toxic Blood there, that ended up being a better choice, instead of trying to faff around with the ceiling and then ultimately getting murdered by the ceiling. Ow, oh, butts. Usually I'm kind of on the ball with my jumps. And this is risky, just because that that rock thing is terrifying. Alright, here we go. We're good. There's one skull, then... Ch damn it. Well, at the very least, it blew, blew open the chest for me. That is nice. And the other reason why I like the nail gun so much, nail gun uh, procs all of the knives. They like shit and knives. Uh, nail gun is actually one of the ones in the arena that could have a lot of potential. The only problem is its its range is so atrocious that, oh, I'm gonna get murdered by those things. Its range is so atrocious that it ends up being kind of a liability in certain cases, just as you can't get up to the, I, I'm taking crazy damage just because I'm assuming I can kill something. Anyway, you need to die, thank you. Let's leave. These things are scary. What do we got around here? We got a box, and we got... We've got... Uh, this is gonna be a problem. I should probably go after the eyeball if I can. I should go after the chest first and foremost. I am too poor for it. Never mind. Not too poor for it. And hashtag too poor for everything. Hashtag popper. Hashtag why am I twittering right now? I'm totally not on Twitter. That'd be great, if, actually, if I built like a... Uh, uh, app that just, like, recognized my voice saying, like, hashtag whatever, and just flooded my Twitter with inane bullshit. Oh, wait, that's just how Twitter works. Shots fired. Please don't hit me. Thank you. And terror. Terror abound. Okay. Dig. Ow. I should probably leave. I think I've outstayed my welcome. I also hate ice levels. Let's be honest here. They're kind of the worst. Also, ceiling, kind of terrifying. Let's leave. And we already found the first boss, which 
does put me in a kind of... Actually, wow, those orbs don't do a whole lot of damage. That's good to know. And should... Wow, I do a lot of damage to him. Or not a lot of damage. I heal a lot while hitting him. Oh, that is really, really encouraging. Just don't get hit by his face. Holy shit, that hurts. Okay, just... Oh, damn it. I say don't get hit by his face. And then that's exactly what I do repeatedly. Nuts. Well, that was... That was not great at all.